and uh, placed a couple of wreaths. Yeah. The tombs of soldiers. These were the. This was the anniversary of the uh, Afghanistan. Uh, yeah. Uh, withdrawal, right? Yeah. The thirteen the who lost their thereof. lives there. Yeah. The uh, absolute atrocious, yeah. uh, screwed up, chaotic yeah. withdrawal from Afghanistan. Uh, and yeah, he honored the thirteen fallen heroes from Abbey Gate. I know he did it a couple of times yesterday for different families and you know paying his respects to these you know the, the families who lost their loved ones you know these kids lost their soldiers pretty pretty amazing that uh it was you know, him what, instead of the president it sure it sure is that blew me away i mean I realize- he's not the president right now <laughs> he's our president Dad, he's our president uh well that's for sure but that is not official uh, I don't know if you're aware of that. Really interesting. How did that happen? How did that I, happen? Where I don't know. Biden abdicated the duty. Uh, Harris abdicated the duty. And so Donald Trump stepped in and it did over? it. Isn't that weird? It is. How did that happen? I haven't read anybody saying anything about that. I, I mean, This who, is like the president's job. who's running the country. Right. Because I know, uh, jokingly, you know, he's our president, but... He's not the president. Right, right. So, very strange. Very strange. He's not an elected official of any kind. (laughs) Right. So, very, very weird. I mean, bless his heart. Mm, Yeah, I I mean, I'm glad. Yes. But how did that happen? I I I, guess just because Biden's at Rehoboth Beach, he he couldn't be bothered to come back for the ceremony? Well, yeah, I mean, he came back from California to... Go to Rehoboth to Beach. Delaware. Yeah, right. But he couldn't be bothered to go to Arlington? Just a really weird. I mean, he still is the president of the United States, regrettably, but he is. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I, really strange. Uh, it, so Jim Acosta asked if Trump should be at Arlington Cemetery. What a douche. Yeah. To um, the campaign a little bit. This morning, uh, former President Trump was at Arlington National Cemetery where he marked the three-year anniversary of the bombing that killed 13 service members during the Afghanistan withdrawal. Um, this is someone who, according to his own former chief of staff, said Americans who died oh, in the get out of here. suckers and losers. Trump oh, you've got to be that, kidding me. John Kelly confirms that Trump did say that. Um, he more recently said <laughs> a civilian award is, uh, quote, better than Pause the Medal it for a second. Honor. Okay, so John a Kelly, said 18 or 19 other people say that he didn't say it, but John Kelly confirmed, so that's it. Right. That's it. We're going to continue to I report can't believe that, he's that absolute lie. That is insanity. Insanity. Jim. Everybody else says he didn't say that. Uh, but they keep reporting it. They sure do. Because of Kelly. Wow. All right, let's see if we can get through this. I doubt it. It is, uh, quote, better than the Medal <laughs> Unreal. of Honor. Unreal. Uh, you're a former Army Ranger. Is he politicizing these soldiers' deaths? Should he even be at Arlington National Cemetery if he's going to uh, make uh, some politics out of this? Mm. Wow. Well, I, I also mourn the death of those 13 service members. You know, every death of a service member is a is a tragedy. Uh, at the same time, I, I mourn the deaths of the, of the over 2,400 service members who died during the 20 years we were at war. Uh, and I just look at President Biden, uh, under whose leadership we actually ended and made the tough oh decision my to end you gotta be our kidding nation's me. longest war. Okay, I can't. Very clear oh, to me my years gosh. <laughs> oh, my God. Who was that representative, Jason Gray? Oh, wow. <sighs> mm. who, who's that was worse than I anticipated. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's not oh all of it, though. Gosh. I mean, there's still, yeah, I, there's still some. I know to go. Yeah, <laughs> that I don't want to. I don't want to hear. Not interested. <laughs> Jeez. Wow, that's crazy. And the lie, the, you know, the lie, uh, Normandy, that just 
continues no, to won't go away. fester. God, wow. One person. And they just take that to the bank. Like, well, it's absolutely it fast. It festers because of douches like Jim Acosta. Yeah, and Joe Biden, who repeats it everywhere he right. goes. Right. <laughs> and they've got some excuse because one person said it. Right. A, a lot of people have said a lot of things. I guess we just report the sexual attack, the assault on uh, on What's-Her-Face uh, from Joe Biden just because she said it. So she said it, so it's true. It's true. And we just continue to repeat that, yeah, he, uh, he actually sexually assaulted her. He raped her. Is that Broderick? Uh, no. It's, no, Broderick uh, was... Clear. No. Her name... Uh, t- uh, Tara? Is it Tara? What is, I, don't yeah. know. I don't remember Shoot. her name. Uh, but if, if that's the game you're going to play, well, I'll play it. I'll play it. We'll just report as fact what she said. I mean, that's unbelievable. Tara Reid. Yeah, Tara, Tara Reid. Yeah. yeah. Tara. Uh, outrageous. That is just outrageous they keep doing it. <laughs> then no, With no qualification nope. that anybody else said anything else. That anybody contradicted that, that he has contradicted it multiple times. He's explained it multiple times. He and Kelly had a falling out. Uh, Kelly can't stand him. And so he made that up. It's unbelievable. Really something else. Mm. Uh, So in the meantime, Donald Trump honored another fallen soldier. I mean, this this is absolutely incredible. Yeah, it is. It is. Again, he's he's a presidential candidate, but he's, and he's not former president. an elected official right now. And so it's very interesting that he's doing all of this. It says a lot about it the sure families does. and who they prefer, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's no way they wanted Joe Biden there. So, that's why he's there, I'll bet. Biden wasn't wanted, and he knew he wasn't wanted, and he stayed away. Wow. Uh, Then, uh, there was yet another fallen soldier uh, with another family that he honored. I mean... Wow. Just just one after another. He had a busy day it, yesterday. It's so sad. Yeah, and it, it is. It's, and I, I get not wanting the president there. You know, the guy who engineered the withdrawal yeah. uh, from Afghanistan. It's mm-hmm. all on him. Um, Especially for the 13. He yeah, got killed no kidding. At the Abbey Gate. Yes. Uh, yeah, they don't want anything to do with him. Because when they came back, yeah, he's, he's looking standing at there watch. checking his watch multiple times. Oh, Three yeah. times he checked his watch. Oh man, my father! I'll never forget my father-in-law. Mm. He was so pissed at watching him look at his watch. I mean, mm-hmm. just holy cow! It should be he, like you got something else to do. It's crazy that he survived that. I that know. his presidency survived that moment because that should have been it. I mean, the withdrawal itself, yeah, should have brought him yes. to his knees. And combine that though with checking his watch when they come back home incredible i mean really incredible so uh trump called the family and honored ssg ryan noss another fallen soldier yesterday I mean, mm. one after another. How many times did he do this yesterday? Like, at least th- four. Well, we had four, right? right? Six least. times. Wow, that's really something. Mm. Was was that wasn't the call though? Um, the call 
where he called the family and honored Ryan Noss. That was it? Hmm. Uh, and then you just handed me, what, what is this for immediate release from yesterday? It's that's where daily guidance for the vice president? That's what Kamala was doing yesterday. Okay, the vice president will be in Washington, D.C., where she will receive briefings and conduct internal meetings with staff. These meetings will be closed press. Hmm. Oh, isn't that special? Yeah, isn't that great? Because now you guys asked, where was the vice president? Because President Biden is in yeah, she was vacation. There. She mm-hmm. was there. She was in D.C. She was in D.C. Couldn't be bothered, though. She, she had things be, to do. She had, she had things to do. She oh, got briefings yeah. to yeah. take. Internal meetings. Internal mm-hmm. meetings, yes. Yeah. Wow. And that-